Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bismatic and I'm back with another one. Look, this time around, this time around, it's John Mulaney with New In Town. Oh, well, well, that's the name of the special, New In Town. This one is called Ice-T on S SVU, on um, Law & Order. <laughs> All right, uh, I like John Mulaney. I, I just I just love his his style of comedy because he looks he looks like a like this nerd like this child nerd. But this guy is brilliant. Like I, I love him on SNL. Uh, I think I've watched all of his specials. Well, all the ones that are on um, <laughs> Netflix at least. But I just wanted to watch this one with y'all. Uh, <laughs> this 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 is hilarious. But um. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. Um, and bring the likes up if y'all want to see more John Mulaney on this channel. And I mastered how to talk like him. I'm John Mulaney. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, let's watch. It's wrong to make fun of people, you know, but it's so fun sometimes. Facts. I've written for some TV shows. And, you know, on a major TV show, you have to be careful about what you say about people because a lot of people can get offended, or so it has been explained to me. <laughs> I was once, I'll tell you this, I was writing for an awards show once, and I got into some trouble. I wrote a joke for this awards show that had the word midget in it. And someone from the network came down to our offices, and he said to me, hey, you can't put the word midget on TV. And I said, I sure would like to. <laughs> sure and he would said, like no, to. midget is as bad as the N-word. First off, no. <laughs> no, it's not. Do you know how I know it's not, I said to him? is because we're saying the word midget, and we're not even saying what the N-word is. If you're comparing the badness of two words, and you won't even say one of them, that's the worst word. Yeah, this guy's brilliant. I don't mean to complain about censorship, at all, though, because as you probably have seen by now, you can basically say whatever you want on television. It's ridiculous. You can say Stop anything you want. But if everything. you don't believe me, you should watch a little program called Law and Order Special Victims Unit. <laughs> yeah, a show that I love, because on that show, you can say the grossest things you've ever heard I hate in your that life. Show. That's just boring. No, you can't say, like, the F word. You can't say that on Special Victims Unit. But people walk around on SVU going, like, looks like the victim had anal contusions. <laughs> Yo, looks like we found semen and fecal matter in the victim's ear canal. <laughs> Those are two real things that I heard on Law & Order SVU <laughs> at 3 in the afternoon. Both no spoken by Ice-T. <laughs> Ice-T is a detective with the Special Victims Unit. He handles New York's most sensitive cases. The way he's saying it. I love Ice-T on SVU. He is fantastic. He's awesome. What's so great about him is that he's been with the SVU for like mm, 11 years now, but he still treats every case like it's his first in terms of total confusion. Sometimes they'll be in the middle of an investigation, and Ice-T will be like, yo, you telling me this dude gets off on little girls with pigtails? It's like, yeah, Ice. <laughs> He's a pedophile. You work in the sex crimes division. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to get used to that. You know how they try and tie in, like, current events to every episode of SVU? So there's, there was this episode I saw a while ago that was about sex addiction, because a lot of celebrities have come out as sex addicts. So the episode's about sex addiction. There is a scene in the episode yeah. where the other detectives are trying to teach Ice-T what sex addiction is, and it takes a couple of minutes. <laughs> and finally, Ice-T gets it, and they cut to him in this close-up, and he goes, Oh, I get it. You mean like when someone drinks too much? or snorts cocaine, or bets the house on the ponies. And I was like, yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> got it. And I was psyched that Ice-T understood so that they could continue with the investigation. But I could have watched another four hours of Ice-T just naming examples. <laughs> just that close up. And Ice-T like, or like when someone smokes too many cigarettes, or like when someone shops too much with credit cards. 
Or like when someone plays too many scratchy lotteries. <laughs> or like when someone eats too much chocolate cake. <laughs> or like when someone eats too much chocolate cake and then barfs it up. Yo, and he would just keep talking that on the right. and it would slowly fade out and say executive producer Dick Wolf. That'd be my <laughs> ideal episode. That'd be a good one. I also watched this show called Cold Case Files. On Cold Case Files, they solve old murders. And it's really interesting, because what I learned from it is that it was really easy to get away with murder before they fact. knew about DNA. That's a It was fact. ridiculously easy. Like, what was even going on back then? What was a murder investigation like in 1935? One cop would just walk in and be like, Detective, we found a pool of the killer's blood in that hallway. And he would just be like, hmm, gross. <laughs> Mop it up. <laughs> now then, back to my hunch. Mm, look for clues. I'll tell you what we'll do. <laughs> we'll draw chalk around where the body is. That way we'll know where it was. <laughs> also, a couple of years ago, I saw this movie called Public Enemies with Johnny Depp. It was about old bank robbers and stuff. Here's how easy it was to get away with bank robbery back in the 30s. As long as you weren't still there when the police arrived, you had a 99% chance of getting away with it. To the point that like those old bank robbers, they take credit for the bank robberies. Like they come running out of there and they're like, ha ha ha. And if anyone asks you, tell them it was Golden Joe and the Suggins gang. And then they like shoot Suggins into the side of the wall. It's like, what, were bullets free back then? <laughs> And they don't even disguise themselves. They dress up for the bank robbery. They're rolling in there in like big suits and hats like they're going to church in Atlanta. They make a day of it. <laughs> church is, oh wow. <laughs> Yo. <clears throat> John Mulaney is hilarious, man. I'm telling y'all. If y'all not watching John Mulaney, man, y'all not watching the good shit. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. This guy is hilarious, man. I be crying every time. Like, his style of comedy is just... It, it, his style of comedy is just dope. I, I like that type of sense of humor. I love it. But y'all let me know if y'all want to see more John Mulaney. Um, and any other um, comics y'all want to see on this channel, let me know. Of course, I like to watch comedy. I like to have fun. Um, you know... But if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And yo, I'll see y'all in the next one. Guess what? You better be there. Because I'm John Mulaney. <laughs> Ooh, that one was better than the one in the beginning.